Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our daily devotional for today. We've been going through the last several days. If you haven't seen them, I encourage you to go back or at least catch any of them that you've missed from the last few days. Um, reviewing our notes from Anthem this last Sunday uh, in our message series of Living Resistance. This uh, week's title was Works Speak. And the last couple days, we've been going over in James 2. Um, are, are four kinds of people. So we, we had person number one, person number two. I go back and watch the last couple days to check those out. And today we're going to go to person number three. We're talking about our faith and our works, how the evidence of a real faith in Christ and a sanctified life that's that's being changed and grown in Jesus Christ is the, uh, the act of good deeds and good works coming from our life. Um, emanating from our life that we look more and more like Christ. So today we're going to be talking about person number three. And the last two days have been a little gut checky and a little tough, uh, but today uh, is going to be a really, really awesome one. We're going to be talking about person number, person, sorry, number three. And uh, but let's pray first, and then we'll jump in. Lord, I thank you so much for this day that you are working in our hearts. This week you've been growing us, you've been challenging us, Lord, that we want to be followers, not just fans of you. That when you had crowds of people, you didn't speak messages that drew more. You often spoke in such a way that sent many people away, not wanting to be your disciple, because you were honest and truthful about what a life after you would cost us and what it would take to live in a way that would honor and glorify God. Help us with our lives honor and glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. You said, and I said, amen. Amen. Um, go ahead and get your Bibles out and uh, or get to BibleGateway.com. And we're going into James. Once again, James 2, uh, verses 14 through 25. You can go ahead and read uh, James 14 through 20 if you want to catch up to where we're at. Um, we're talking about our four kinds of people. Person number one, the poser out of uh, James 18. Uh, number two, the religious person from James uh, 2, 19, and 20. And today, number three, is a great one. We're talking about the radical. Uh, that's person number three. This is going to be from James 2, verses 21 through 24. Um, the radical. And you're first like, oh, that sounds bad. No, this is good. This is the passionate. This is the radical. Let me read uh, verse 21. Don't you remember that our ancestor Abraham was shown to be right? with God by his actions when he offered his son Isaac on the altar. You see, his faith and his actions worked together. His actions made his faith complete. And so it happened just as the scriptures say, Abraham believed God and, uh, and God counted him as righteous because of his faith. He was even called the friend of God. So you see, we are shown to be right with God by what we do, not by faith alone. I'm also going to read to you regarding Abraham here from Hebrews 11, verse 17 through 19. It says, It was by faith that Abraham offered Isaac as a sacrifice when God was testing him. Abraham, who had received God's promises, was ready to sacrifice his only son Isaac, even though God had told him, Isaac, the son through uh, Isaac is the son through whom your descendants will be counted. Abraham reasoned that if Isaac died, God was able to bring him back to life again, and in a sense, Abraham did receive his son back from the dead. So this is person number three. This is the radical. This is the person that believes the promises of God so much so that it says here in Hebrews that Abraham not only believed God's initial promise that you would have um, a son and that would be your lineage and through him will come many heirs, but he believed that if God was, I mean, that was a miracle in itself. Abraham was very old. His wife was very old. It was that they'd never been able to have children. Uh, together and then it was a miracle that they had Isaac now God's saying sacrifice your son and Abraham just figured God's first promise was my son is gonna give is gonna be the you know father of this nation many descendants so I guess if I sacrifice him God's just gonna raise him from the dead see the radical is crazy we had the poser and the religious person the last couple days who they they always want to claim faith and say hey, hey I have my faith and you have your works and it's about my heart you don't see my heart where the radical just believes 
They just believe any and every promise of God. They believe anything God asked them to do, even if it's insane. If they if they prayed, God, give uh, I need a new vehicle, and God gave them a new car, and the next day God said, give up the car, they would give the car up knowing that God gave them the car just so they could give the car up, and if he wants to bring another car, he'll do it because they're crazy. Um, they're radical. We often look at people like this and just think those are super people. They are... They are super Christians. They are the uh, exception to the rule. The rest of us normal Christians uh, will have fun with our um, bomb shelters and our fear. And we'll just hope the Lord comes soon so we can get out of this crazy world. But the radical believes have been put here and marked for a purpose. That God is not done with them. That there's breath in their lungs and they're living. There's a purpose um, for their life. They they give God every opportunity possible to be glorified through their life. Um they, they at times may be considered showy, but everything they do comes from a heart. And usually they receive a lot of jealousy against them. Uh, they're trying to prove something. And a lot of times they get accused of being ones, oh, see, they're trying to prove to God how good they are. Um, the radical isn't trying to impress God. The radical knows they have nothing without God. So everything is God's and anything great is his. The Bible, prayer, Holy Spirit is the only standard that they, that they need. They believe and they hold on to everything God has said to them and what he might say to them. And kind of like Abraham, they believe in a miracle and, and, and they'll believe in a miracle on top of a miracle. Like a greater miracle than even having, I mean, a son in old age would be that he's raised from the dead. Abraham believed even a greater miracle that God had a purpose and God was faithful. We see uh, in the radical, one of the, the first uh, and, and, and radical, let me get this straight. Radical isn't a super person. A radical is someone who just believes and trusts the promises of God. And even dare I say it, the word of God. A radical reads the Bible and says, wow, the Bible says I should do this or I shouldn't do this. That this is where life is and this is where life isn't. I'm going to do it. Um, the radical believes when Jesus said that you have to deny yourself, take up your cross, follow him. That your life isn't your own, that you have to sacrifice, that you have to love one another, that you have to forgive, not once, not seven times, but 70 times seven, that you have to continue. If someone comes and asks you for forgiveness, you have to continue to forgive. That's what the radical believes. It's every promise that God, and their lives don't seem to make sense to many. Their friends don't get them, but the radical really lets their works speak to the truth of the hope and the faith that is inside and the Bible says always be prepared to give an account for the hope that's in you um, study to show yourself approved and, and be ready to give an account for the hope that's in you we think well I just have to be ready to, to explain to people why why I love God but the radical is prepared to always live out the the grand purpose in themselves who Christ is that others would see that there's hope inside of them because they live a life that would make no sense apart from God challenge you today we've had the poser the religious maybe that's been you you repented i would ask you today to pray for strength to become the radical that you would pray um that god would just just give you faith um just to believe him to read his word and not copy and paste the things you like and don't like and to pick and choose or to have a burger king uh devotional in the morning you know have it your way and I'll choose and pick what I like from God's word. No, I'll take God for his word. That's the radical. Be radical today. Uh, continue your reading in utmost.org, today's devotional, also in Luke. And I'll see you tomorrow um, as we pull up our last uh, our last part here of James 2, 14 through 25. We love you guys. Uh, Lord, I thank you so much for this day that you are showing and proving to us that you are crazy and amazing and radical and that you can make us radical through you, passionate followers of Christ. I pray that you be with us today. Inspire us as we seek you more in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Live life uh, full of Him. Go. Go.